This painting titled Taking Aim, which is an oil painting 24 by 48 inches long, started back in the spring of 2020. I had this photo that I took of my wife years ago and I always thought it'd make a great painting. I made some alterations to the composition and kind of along that rifle barrel just to make the composition a little bit more open, have more air around the figure. Uh, the basic process was pretty standard for most of my paintings. I start with the, the drawing stage, which is an underpainting using burnt sienna, kind of monochromatic, uh, and you're trying to establish the lights and the darks and work on the drawing aspect without bringing in the complications of color and value. So after finishing the underpainting, that kind of orange color, uh, it's just on to blocking in the color. And I start with the background first, blocking in that sky and the clouds, and then start moving into the, the figure and the rifle. For the most part, it's painted wet into wet, so you're trying to paint individual sections of the, of the painting in one pass, uh, where the oil stays wet and it just lends itself to blending a lot easier and then kind of moving on from there. Uh, the biggest challenge in that is that trying to control your edges. You know, a painting is made up of edges, so trying to decide where to keep sharp edges or soft edges, and it gets more difficult to blend those edges when one side of the painting uh, is wet and the other side is dry, you know? So it's easier to blend when everything's wet together. The inspiration for the painting came at the beginning of you know the COVID-19 pandemic in spring 2020 when it seemed like a lot of people were taking the time they had at home because they weren't going into work or whatever to get projects done and uh, I thought about you know the idea of aiming for goals and what I liked about this is that it kind of shows a woman with a lot of strength, kind of focusing on a goal and trying to hit a target while taking aim, but at the same time using a lot of safety precautions or procedures. So for instance, she's got her earmuffs on, protect her hearing, but she also doesn't have her finger on the trigger, which anytime you're with using a firearm, you know, the saying is to only put your finger on the trigger when you're ready to pull the trigger, right? So she's focusing on acquiring her targets and setting up the goal uh, and aiming at it, but still kind of being precautious about that uh, about that task. I think I get people saying or ask me like, oh, is it so hard to paint a figure or to paint that face or paint the hand? And, you know, to me, most aspects of painting, it just comes down to rendering a reality or a representation of it, which, you know, is basically painting light and the effect of light over a form. And so there's not much difference between a face and a tree stump or animal, you know, dog's head versus a, a human figure. But in this painting, I definitely spent a lot of time painting that tattoo. Uh, it, it was not easy. I don't know. It did, some aspects of a painting come real easy and some others you really have to work for. And uh, I definitely worked at getting that pat tattoo to come across that it's sitting on top of the flesh, you know, and, and especially the light is curving around her forearm there. Uh, but I was pretty happy with the way it came out. You know, a lot of small brushes and kind of tediousness.
You can see uh, that yellow stick I'm using, that's called the mall stick. It basically, it just allows allows the artist to rest their hand on it so they're not touching the painting. Because uh, most times, I, I work in oil so the painting's still wet, so you don't want to like put your finger on the, on the canvas or the panel. I changed the watch from the uh, original photo to have this uh, Fitbit, you know, smartwatch. So I was a little bit more up to the times. And then I uh, painted that bracelet in. I think she had a bunch of bracelets on in the original photo, but I painted that bracelet, which is the, the colors of Argentina, where my wife was born. Uh, just because I thought that was a fun aspect. And from there, it's just kind of finishing up uh, odds and ends and making the painting come together. Thanks for watching and uh, let me know if you like the painting. And if you got a goal, take aim at it and pull the trigger.